Hello everyone, it's Kritik here from IT Rebels and today in this video we will be learning about CSS text styling. So we have prepared a folder uh, text, uh, styling, text styling and then we have created an HTML file and CSS file. I have linked that CSS file to our HTML and it's a neat boilerplate which we have created yet till now and there is no styling in style.css so let's start and learn how to style it see uh, text elements so you if you have if you know something about html then it will be very good for you uh, let's start with uh, headings h1 so i created this uh, six heading tags and in normal paragraph tag then let's see how it looks on in browser open i really like brave browser so i you i will be using that as you can see h1 is a uh, way bigger than h6 and this is a normal paragraph and if you want to see in inspect you can see this this one is h1 h3 h4 and so on now we can just give some styling to this text like uh, we can style it h1 f4 anti font size to give a font size of, of something uh, 50 uh, 16 by default uh, the font normal font size of paragraph is 16 so let's give uh, it 100 pixels 100 px and save it okay this one this one save and see as you can see uh, we can change the font size of something uh, like h1 or so, uh, any other tag of text then if you want to give some color to this uh, h1 we have to give color col or color uh, then let's say we want aqua okay it's not looking that great let's change it then if we want to change a font family like how the font looks you can change with font f o n t font family and there is something called roboto which i like r o b o t o r o b o t o roboto okay let's save it and see okay this will work as you can see the font family has been changed for this one you can select any font from google my google font g o o g l e google fonts f o n t s fonts you just have to use google fonts you can change okay google fonts fonts and get any font for your website for example let's say we have we will use this one okay where is it crimson pro okay I have selected um, Poppins 500. Then I just have to use this Control C and paste it inside my HTML. Yes. Control V. Save. Then I have to include this. Control C and inside my CSS I just have to replace this with
control s so this is now poppins as you can see here it's popping so with this you can change this is how you can change uh, css style for any text and if you want other thing like text alignment text alignment then you have to use text align text align last direction vertical align so text align let's try text align center okay this will center this text then text align left it will be it will it will move your text uh, to left same for right text align justify okay this one is different let's see this okay. let's say we have a paragraph a bigger paragraph we'll say hello Aryan Lauren okay save it see in the browser okay okay okay, okay. and uh, class see there is class of continue see and continue let's see container see you and continue continue W I T T H with 500 is a 500 pixels and give a T I V T So as you can see we have created something like this and now let's say there is a container and copy this and P inside container we want it to be justify text align justify control X thing it will just justify the text let's say so this is how it will take end to end as you can see css text it will look like this uh, then there is uh, text decoration like text decoration line text decoration overline will look like this text decoration line through will look like this one and underline will be underline under the text uh, text transform so you can just uh, use text transform properties uh, like text transform uppercase lowercase or capitalized to make text uppercase uh, lowercase or capitalize every first letter of the first letter of the word so text spacing line high okay text indent text indent means you can just indent your text like first uh, part of the you it will be indented then there is letter spacing line height word spacing white space let's see what is letter spacing letter spacing property is used to specify the space between the character in a text uh, for the following example demonstrate how to create a uh, decrease the space between character okay so so it will help us to increase and decrease the space between those let words so to the property name is letter spacing and it will take an argument or value of pix in pixel or m or ram okay. if you don't know what is m ram uh, i will suggest you to watch this video css units then let's move on to next line height with line height you can change the uh, uh, spacing between these lines uh, so you can change that then next. word spacing so you don't want a uh, space between every letter you just want a space between word then you can use word spacing and then give some units but white space 
so white space no wrap what is white space so with white space you can tell uh, the browser that you don't want to wrap an element like uh, normally if we just ignore this and run it will just wrap everything but with uh, white space wrap we can just uh, it will give the complete it will take the complete length of the text so which we don't recommend and we never use this then the next part is text shadow you can give shadow effects to your text and with this text shadow uh, property you can give your text a shadow like this one is top and this one is from right so two pixel from top let's say five ten pixel ten pixel or 30 pixel this one is normal text and this one is sh sh shadow so from top it will go down by 10 pixels and from left it will go down by go right by 30 pixels and the third property will be like uh, 15 pixel 15 pixel to give some opacity to it or blurry blurness like we can just reduce that 15 to 5 pixel or something pixel and this 30 to 3 5 it will it can create a really nice effect and just give 30 15 or it can just it can create a good effect text shadow effect for you then you can text shadow give color to them and blurness more text shadow example example i will suggest you to look at this documentation uh, it's w3 school css css text shadow yes so I will just provide this link also in our description. Please check this out. Check that out. CSS font. We have already seen that how to use CSS fonts from Google fonts and other things. Like CSS icons. There are some Google font, Google icons also. So you can just use those uh, too and there are many popular icon library like bootstrap b o t boot s t r a p strap icons icons so there they they have many different icons and there there is one more famous one like uh, faf icons uh, icons i c o n s if you are working with react and other things uh, in future you want to work with the, those then there is something called react icons r e a c t react i c o n s icons so react icon is totally useless right now for us but if you are working with react uh, i will definitely suggest you to use react icons so with this we have completed our video uh, and see you next time.